Hello everyone. Thank you very much for the surprise yesterday. It was really, really fun idea from my boyfriend. I got many, many emails. So thank you very much for this nice surprise. And now we can start with the daily TA. So thank you very much for your support guys once more and we can start now with the daily TA and just to remind you we have less than nine days till the happening and as you know in my opinion I think we will still go to reach this 10.5k before the happening and what will happen after the happening and after reaching 10.5k this will be very key for the next couple of weeks and months for the Bitcoin price because there is a high chance that we could make a double top formation which is a very bearish pattern also this is the 0.618 fib line based on the top of 14,000 and the bottom of 3.8k and that's why i think as soon as we reach this 10.5k we're gonna see the truth of what is coming in the next couple of weeks and so far we are still in this potential rising wedge here in the short time frame remember that we have the cme close at 8840 so if we're gonna reach here again this main resistance at around 9400 and we cannot break it most likely we're gonna return back down to where we finished on a friday here at around 8840 so my forecast for today till at least tomorrow monday is that we're gonna stay in this potential rising wedge here and have maybe a breakout during the night here to the upside or to the downside most likely to the downside towards 8840 also because the CME closed there. The RSI here in the one hour is at the 50 level. Stochastic is in oversold territory. So we're going to probably stay within this range here between 8,950 and 9,240 till tomorrow latest and also if you go over to the bollinger band you can see that after overshooting it to the upside we again completely retraced back down into the middle area and uh, the macd had still this uh, bearish cross so the momentum could be shifted to the downside and that's why i'm also expecting a breakout to the downside from this uh, small rising wedge but uh, it can be that first we're going again up here to test the main resistance between 9200 to 9000 400 dollar and if we go over to the four hour time frame also here you can see that we're still trading above the 20 moving average uh, which is at 8820 this is where i'm expecting the price to drop in case of a breakout to the downside and possibly have a support here at this moving average and then also we have to see what will happen if we can keep this support or we're going to break down and go down to retest uh, this 8k area down here because in the rsi we are still above the 50 which is a good sign stochastic is in neutral territory and if we have a look on the bollinger band also here you can see that we still had this bearish cross we could see here a bullish cross pretty soon and a possible overshoot here from the bollinger band to the upside or to the downside as well here in theory we could go even down to 8550 before we see another uh, leg up and if we open up here the daily time frame you can see that we are far away from the 220 and 50 daily moving average so we could go and test this moving averages down here anytime also because we are overbought still here in the rsi and stochastic and this is also here at around eight thousand dollar and that's why i'm telling you in case that we are going to test here again the main resistance are getting rejected before monday and we're gonna have a new future gap down to eight thousand eight hundred forty it is possible that we're not just going down to close the gap but also go down to retest this 200 daily moving average at eight thousand dollar and we also have to keep an eye what the stock market is going to do on monday especially here the s p 500 looks quite bearish here it looks like that we are going to see this play out of this uh, rising wedge that we were in here in the last couple of weeks but also you see that right now we are testing here the 20 daily moving average and also the RSI is right at the 50. So in theory in the S&P we could see here a big bounce from this moving average to go and test again the 200 daily here at $3,000 in the S&P. But if we're going to lose here this 20 daily moving average support then prepare to see another crash in the next coming days and the weeks in the stock market. This doesn't mean that Bitcoin has to follow but of course this could also bring Bitcoin into difficulties here in the next couple of days and weeks. And we can also have a look here on the week time frame because this is now very key how we're gonna close uh, this uh, weekly candle 
if we can really close above the 20 weekly and 50 weekly moving average here at 8,770, I think uh, we are good to go to, for another leg up, possible towards 10,500. But here we really have to see how the price is going to react because in case that we can really break this 10,500, then I think we are good to go here to test the new all-time highs. At least to test again 14,000, maybe even 20,000. But I'm going to tell you right now that this 10,500 is going to be very strong resistance here. We had also in the past here a lot of resistance and support uh, also here when we topped out at 14,000. So this is going to be the most important price level here to break but looking here in the weekly time frame everything is setting up that we could also break this potential resistance up here we just started to trade above the 50 and also if you go over to the bollinger band we didn't test here the top of ten thousand five hundred dollar but we have now a bullish cross here in the weekly and i think we could be in here for a break through this ten thousand five hundred dollar hopefully but as i told you this is what we have to see once we're reaching uh, this price level up here so with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thank you again very much for all your support and your nice uh, donations yesterday. Very much appreciated, guys. And therefore, also, we're going to do the $50 giveaway with the 1,000 subscribers here on my channel. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you like the content. And also make sure to join the free Discord trading chat and also the live streams over on Twitch. you find the invitation links all down below here. And if you still need a Bybit, Femex, Primex, BT or BTRT account where you can trade Bitcoin and other assets with leverage, just use my invitation links that you find down below here to sign up to a new account. Because with my links you can get some sign up bonus. So go and check them out guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice weekend and we see us all in the next one. Bye.